Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Lovely day today. It's warming up. I think it's going to be about 21 degrees today. First of all, apologies. I cut myself shaving yesterday, so I've got a little mark uh, on my top lip. So that's not going to look very nice on camera. But then again, you're used to seeing my face anyway, so yeah. Um, anyway, so today I'm out in deepest Kent, which is a place I have been to before, back in 2008, I think it is, and a, visit, a village we visited, uh, to, I think it was last year, during lockdown. I brought you to Penshurst. But we're actually going to go into Penshurst Place. But first, because the house is not actually open yet, first, I'm going to pop back to the church, which was locked when we went there before last year, or the year before, uh, and see if we can get inside. Let's go. House built So this is St John the Baptist Church. There's been a church recorded on this site since 1115, but probably much older than that. Lovely old church. Let's hope, fingers crossed, we can get in. But first I want to quickly show you this. This is a medieval doll table. You might know the word doll, I'm on the doll. And at special times of year, money, clothing and food would have been left out on here for the poorer members of the village, or poorer members of the community. Only a handful have survive in England, these doll tables. Oh, what a piece of history is that? Even some of the wood in the porch here. I'm wondering how old that is. Yeah. Do you see if it's open? Let's have a go. Sorry, this beautiful door, that's old. Yes, I know I've gone about old doors all the time. This is lovely. The first priest who was appointed here was appointed by Thomas a Becket, of course the famous Thomas Becket of Canterbury Cathedral, and it was Thomas Becket's last public act before he was murdered by King Henry's soldiers, only two days later after appointing the person to this uh, church. Who will rid me of this troublesome priest? And uh, Henry II's uh, loyal soldiers literally took it way too far. I don't think uh, Henry really wanted that to happen. Um, fascinating tale, yeah. So he pointed the priest here, and then two days later he was murdered at Canterbury Cathedral. In a very, very, very horrible way. I'm wondering how old these are. No writing could be seen, it's worn away, but I reckon that's going well back. And this one here as well. That's a problem, some, they get trodden on all the time. And uh, Mr. Charles Wakefield, oh, I think that actually might be a bit more recent, 1805? Might be 1805? This has got a Perspex uh, plastic cover over this uh, stone uh, bit of art, so I'm thinking something of great antiquity. So, 
This is an old church, obviously lots of modifications as, we, as the years went by. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. It's a nice little notice board here. Welcome to St John the Baptist Church, site of prayer and reflection for 900 years. Here you find architecture, which is listed grade one, from seven different centuries. Signs of England's civil war and memorials to the Boer War, World War I and World War II. Memorials to the first owner of Penshurst Place, Anne Boleyn's brother, and successive Earls of Leicester. The private chapel of the Sydney family, owners of Penshurst Place for more than 500 years, yes. Yeah, the Sydney family uh, own Penshurst Place. It's, a, it's not a National Trust for English Heritage, um, and they still live there. It's uh, going back to sort of the uh, 1500s. That's great. In the same house in, 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 in your family name, owned by you for all that time. Another great old door, which was also in the previous video from Penta's, uh, Penta's when we walked around the village. I'll link that below in the description. Yeah, lovely old part of the door. God, it's a bit blowy today. I say it's supposed to be 21 degrees and sort of sunny, but it's not. It's windy. It's a bit cold, actually. interesting this door here is it yeah it's covered up so it must be a very very good door behind there it looks it as well yeah right let's head over to Penshurst place So I've got my ticket and uh, house opens in about five minutes. Let's go have a little look around. You're trying to remember, who did I come with? Oh yes, it was uh, my late friend Alan. We'll be talking about a little later on. And Annalisa, so we came here. Yeah, it's 2008. I'm sure it was, 2000, 2009. And here it is, Penta's Place. Well then, that's a turn up. My walk around Penta's place was cut short. No filming, no photography, nothing. You have to get written permission. Well, I think you like the BBC or something. So I had to turn the camera off. I've got some bits in the Baron's Hall though. Uh, so that's a bit disappointing. I mean, fair the rules, there are the rules. But what disappoints me, I'm a member of the National Trust, I'm a member of English Heritage, I've been to private uh, houses before, not a problem with filming. I'm videoing for for YouTube. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not taking photos or anything. Uh, no, no, it's, it's oh um, yeah. Um, sorry, Penta's place. You really need to up, to <laughs> change your policy. What well, people want personal uh, photos, you know, for their memories. Um, so yeah, I'm afraid 
I couldn't show you that. I mean, there's not that many rooms to see. Very, very cool rooms though. Don't get me wrong, very, very cool rooms. Um, but there you go. So no filming at Penta's place. Um, okay, let's find something else to do. Oh man. Also you need to sort of, oh, you should have asked. You should have asked beforehand, before visiting. And I thought, who? Phones up Hampton Court said, do you mind if I film at your venue? You just don't do it. You're on a day out. I very rarely rent, but that's, <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things. This is the first time it's ever happened, actually. In all the years I've been, I've been doing this and the old video diaries from the, in the uh, late 2008s and 9s. So it's pub lunch time and I've brought you back to a pub which means a lot to us from our old spiral paranormal days we did a couple of investigations here because I've brought you back to the Spotted Dog Inn. I'll link these videos below and also show you some footage later on of um, our raw medium Alan uh, picking up some fantastic stuff here. What happened was originally we came here uh, socially one night and Alan didn't well, know we're not here for anything paranormal we're just here socially and um, Alan was picking up on a man at the bottom of the chair of the stairs by the bar. He got talking to one of the staff uh, behind the bar and they said, yes, that's been seen before. People are keeping reporting about a man at the bottom of the stairs. And uh, this is what he came out with. When I came here, I knew it was four farm cottages dating back to about 1460, 1470. I hadn't been here that long, but I discovered or heard one day, we were just sitting at the bar, it was after closing time, and it sounded like somebody had fallen down the stairs. I was by the door to the stairs, so I quickly opened it, thinking somebody had fallen down the stairs, because at the time I had living staff. Nothing there. I then discovered that somebody had fallen down the stairs in the past, died and broke their neck. I actually keep getting the word coronary. Coronary. It's like he had a heart attack uh -huh. and ended up at the bottom of the stairs, twisted up at the bottom. He's twisted at the bottom, really twisted mm. up. His head is not facing into the bar, his head is facing to the right. This children, children in this room, but this is residual energy, it's children. And it's not just, um, you know, sort of recent in the last 20, 30 years. This is <laughs> lot, actually lots of happy children's mm -hmm. energy, you know? Mm. Th there's nothing active, but it's residual, it's residual. The next door neighbour grew up in this pub, and he still lives next door at the moment. <laughs> and they used to live up here. Nothing bad at all, it's just lots of happiness, laughter, children, happiness. Mm. Yeah, happiness and memories. Mm. Lots of happiness. This is heady. Oh, sorry. Again. Mm. Is this the stairs back down to the bar? Back down these to are the, bar. the yeah. These are the ones with the guy. Yeah. With the, yeah. I still keep getting coronary. It's like he had a heart attack and fell. And he was twisted up at the bottom here. And his, his head was twisted around facing that way. His body was at the bottom, but his head was facing that way. So yeah, it's good to be back and uh, let's go and have some lunch. There you go, delicious food in the Spotty Dog Inn. Been chatting to the new manager here. He's only, I think he's only been here about a month. And uh, yeah, I had a uh, steak and ale pie. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. So yeah, nice to be back at the Spotty Dog Inn. Very nostalgic. Hope you enjoyed the video, although we couldn't. It was cut short a bit with Penshurst Place. It was a little bit annoying, but there you go. Uh, hope you're all having a great time and a great day. We'll see you later. Take care. Mm -hmm.